Hey guys, this is Alex and this is my new video on why you shouldn't buy the iPhone 4S in 2015. It's not like on the iPhone 5 or iPhone 4 or 5S, it's just a lot of lag in this operating system on the iPhone 4S. Even if you go to the App Store, you can see a constant lag right here. It just doesn't load the App Store. You have to wait for, um, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds for it. We will see. So right now we're gonna wait until it loads the App Store. I have a strong Wi-Fi connection right now, but you see, it just doesn't load it. But if we go here, no problem. <laughs> oh, here, yeah, it just loaded the App Store, but still you have to wait a lot for it, and it's just annoying. Next thing is camera. Well, I have here not the best camera ever because on the iPhone 6 camera it's a lot better it's taking a lot better selfies and the quality and the sharpness is just another level so in here it's like from 2011 it's, it was a great camera in 2011 but right now it's not the best one Just I don't recommend you buying this phone because of this camera because if you're Instagram likers and if you like taking pictures don't take this camera for your um, daily basis you just it's not what you need I don't usually play games on this phone but if you try Real Racing 3 or Mortal Kombat 4 it's gonna give you a huge lag in these games and you're not gonna play it especially on this screen you see that the screen here is 3.5 inches and it's not even 4 well I don't play games on these small screens it's better to play on iPad or on iPhone 6 at least an iPhone 5 or 5S because this screen is so small and it's just this kind of smallest screen in 2015. As you know, I'm a huge YouTube user. So if I go to YouTube right here, it's probably preloaded. Yeah, it's preloaded. So, but still, it's not. You know, if you go to any videos and you're trying to stop them, it's not gonna stop in the minute you, in the second you stop it, because it's just the, not the best performer phone. So. If you're a YouTube user and you want to see lots of YouTube videos on your phone 4S, I don't recommend you buying this phone. It's better to watch on 5S or 5, iPhone 5 I mean, uh, or higher because this is not the best phone for videos. And you see that the screen is small as I told you before and it's just not perfect for videos. The top reason why I wouldn't choose this phone in 2015 is the updates. The iOS 8 and the iOS 8.4 probably would be the late, the latest update and the last one for this phone. Right now I have 8.3 here and it just, you know, works not that good on this operating system. I mean on the iOS 8.3, but it's not gonna have the iOS 9 and I just wouldn't see all these features, all the user experience and all the new stuff from Apple. So I don't see a point in buying this smartphone if you don't receive any future updates for this phone. Another reason for not buying this phone is disabled features. On this phone I couldn't find any CarPlay, any slow-mo videos, any airdrop function here. Just nothing. Nothing really works in here. Just I don't have all the features I need for daily basis. I want to share photos. Uh, record these slow-mo videos and <laughs> doing other stuff, other important stuff to me, but on this phone we cannot experience them. Of course, I I've heard something that you can do via jailbreak, but I'm not sure if the jailbreak is available on the iOS 8.3, but uh, if you go earlier, like on iOS 7, probably you're gonna uh, find those features, but they are not fully, you know, compatible, not, they you know, do not have uh, the full support on this model so and if you don't want to have a jailbreak you're not gonna find those features on your phone you're just you're just gonna be hidden inside or erased I don't know just it's, it's so disappointing to me what about the battery the battery is really awful I I'm I cannot use this phone on a full charge uh, for a day I just use it for maybe half a day but not more because it just doesn't hold that much of battery I just, I don't know, I don't use it for games, as you know, and I don't take so many photographs and videos, but still, it just dies in less than one day, and this is really disappointing. Anyway, guys, if you're gonna choose some phone just for calling, I would recommend you buying this phone. <laughs> if it's only for calling, 
do not buy the iPhone 4 because it's just totally another phone and just totally another processor and everything is just another it's just it's just similar because inside this phone is completely different from the iPhone 4 so if you buy the phone f just for calling buy this one if you want to have games you'd better buy an iPhone 6 probably if you want just something in between buy an iPhone 5 or better the iPhone 5s because in, in uh, next year the iPhone 5 wouldn't get the iOS 10 probably iOS 10 who knows but anyway anyway guys thanks for watching and comment rate and subscribe and I'll see my other videos also to learn more and to see some other interesting stuff and thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one peace